I'm sorry for getting you two involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It can tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You headed yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a plumber at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right, let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that.
Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dar or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dar is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. Remember what I said about Noam Dar's open challenge. I can still reach out to NXT UK if you want. I'm ready to answer the open challenge, but don't talk to anyone at NXT UK. I want to show up unannounced. <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE superstar who's known as The Rock has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere to challenge Noam Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked into me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British Rules match with some new hardware instead of a restraining order. All right, that's it. Oh, into an AA. Being able 
able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. He's taking some good hits. Taking on some offense, we expected as much. On the shoulders and a slam. Just a continuous rush on Noam Dar here. Dar on the wrong side of every exchange lately. Suplex. Oh, this is just establishing dominance, establishing control. F10 face buster. Yeah. Oh, caught on the chin. Look at this. Elbows right to the knee, round and round. Ruthless. Oh my God, a moonsault. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Yeah, he's found an effective form of attack. Out on the apron. Look at this power. Wow. Unbelievable. Deadlift apron suplex. For something in the corner. Things went from bad to worse. Up top, up top, heading up to the top rope. This is going to be nasty. High rent district. A lot of risk up here. Slam slide. This match may be nearing its limit. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. A continuous rush on Noam Dar here. Dar's defensive instincts need to kick in. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh, oh, the power! And that was an effective attack, guys. And the hits to the core keep coming. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. He's lining him up. Uh-oh. Dark man. Rolls a book on this one. For the win. He's on the rope to the right. Wisely stops the count. Oof. Lands the haymaker. These consecutive attacks have been really. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. Just ruthless. Bam! Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Time to go home. Boom! Big time driver. Dar's being carefully measured now. Can't survive any more of those. Two count. A non-contracted, disgruntled former employee just walked in here and captured not one but two NXT UK championships. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere. This NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE 
just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. So, that's what you meant by playing it by ear, huh? It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. A bloody hell. I stick it to WWE. <laughs> That's more like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Tour? We need to think of a catchier name to that. We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started.
Yeah, he's odd at singing wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. It's gonna get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go.